On the afternoon of March 13, 2023, the celebrity silhouette cruise ship sailed out of Port Miami to begin a 10-night cruise off the Eastern Caribbean. Join Paolo and me on this journey as we escape from the harsh Canadian winter for a bit of sun and warmth. On this cruise, Palo jumped or slid down the Damayago waterfalls. While I strolled along the historic quarters of Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic. We navigated through the barracks of San Felipe del Moro in Old San Juan, Puerto Rico. spent our first beach day at the St. Croix Country Club Beach, just west of the harbor of Fredericksted, St. Croix. Lounged on the white powdery beach of Jolly Beach, Antigua. Took the ferry to the island of Nevis. spent our last port day at Little Bay St. Martin. After one day at sea, the celebrity silhouette was approaching the newly created Taino Bay cruise port, named after the native Taino people who inhabited this island prior to the arrival of the Spaniards. The cruise port is situated on the north side of the Dominican Republic, facing the Atlantic Ocean. The colonial city of Puerto Plata, founded by Christopher Columbus in the early 1500s, sits around the bay. Because of the natural harbor, a commercial port was built here and thus began the city's maritime and commercial importance. As a cruise destination, there were many excursions that one can take part in. Palo chose the shore excursion to the Damawiaga Waterfalls, where one can slide, jump, or climb down from the top of the 12 waterfalls until one reaches the bottom. Not surprisingly, with three cruise ships in port, it was a crowded experience. Okay. Oh, you all, of sudden, all of a sudden, yeah. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't just think do, it. Just do it. Just do it. I can do it. Don't no, yeah. oh, here's the other one. Oh. You go. You go first. Yeah. I go first. Yeah. A big step. Come to the end of it. 
I survived it. I think there's about seven waterfalls all together, I need to count, but uh, that's what it said at the beginning. And this is done. It was a good trip. A little, it's a little busy over here. There's a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, visitors on the island right now, so um, uh, it got pretty crowded. But um, overall, it was good. It was good. I decided to take the more sedate city tour of Puerto Plata. So this we fortress, started at Fortaleza San Puerto Rico, Felipe. They call it Moro. So here we call it Moro or San Felipe Fortress Museum. Um, it was built to protect the city by pirates. Many pirates they used to come here to this place. So it was commissioned by the King Felipe in 1577. It was commissioned at this fortress museum. The tour then drove along the picturesque Malacan, the seaside boardwalk. The drive took the tour to the Gregorio Luperon Museum, which honors the Dominican Republic's president and military general, one of the leaders in the guerrilla war against Spain's losing attempt to recolonize the country in the 19th century. The historic heart of the old city is the charming Park Central Independencia or Independent Square, a town square bordered by grand Victorian buildings. Many of the stately Victorian buildings have been restored and are now home to the City Hall and Palace of Justice. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, as you can see right here, we have the City Hall from Puerto Plata. At the top, look at the top. We have the initial name, King and Queen from Spain, F. Fernando Inguar Isabel. And don't forget the green part that represents one of the national parks that we have on the north side. The unique two-steeple church in Glacia San Felipe is known for its stunning Italian stained glass windows. A short walk from Independence Square is the Umbrella Street art installation in the heart of the historic district. Our final stop of the tour was the pink street of Puerto Plata, the Paseo de Dona Blanca. On my way back, I had a bit of time to check out the Taino cruise port, which was just recently opened in 2021. There were certainly a lot of amenities such as restaurants and bars, retail stores, and an expansive swimming and beach area to accommodate the cruise passengers. Soon it was time for passengers to get back to the ship so that Celebrity Silhouette can start to untie the docking lines and head out towards the next destination of the cruise. Reunited on board, Paolo and I gaze back on the island, with Pico Isabel de Torres standing tall in the background. As I leave you with scenes of the entertainment on the Celebrity Silhouette, I just want to say thank you for watching. 
and keep an eye out for the next destination of the cruise in the next episode. I put out videos of my sailing and travel adventures. If this interests you, tap on the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of the next one. For now, fair winds to all.